You can pick up some Side Surf Cake Studio merch at shop.sidesurfcakes.com. Your friends will ask, what's Side Surf Cake Studio? And you can say, oh, let me show you. Natalie Side Surf here of Side Surf Cake Studio, and I'm gonna show you how I made a spider cake. It's fall time, and you all aren't messing around this season because I'm already getting a ton of requests for Halloween-themed cakes. A lot of you call me the cake witch, so today I'm casting a spell on this cake and I'm turning it into a spider. I'm really, really into this one. We're gonna have fun. I've carved the cake into two spider-sized segments, and now I'm covering the entire thing in slime green buttercream. Look how little it is. <laughs> it's already cute. I'm rolling out modeling chocolate, and then I'll use it to cover the cake. This outside layer of chocolate is what I'm gonna to use to sculpt all my creature features. Before I get too deep into sculpting the details, I have to pick what kind of spider I'm going to make. We have the notorious Black Widow, but she's too small for a cake. We have a tarantula, but those guys are really hairy. I'm avoiding sculpting too much hair this time around. What about a wolf spider? It's a nice hearty size. There's not too much hair. We have a winner. Something that's unique about the wolf spider is that they don't spin a web to capture food like most spiders. Instead, they hunt like a wolf. Hence the name. <laughs> what did you say? Basically, they give their prey the runaround until it gets cornered, and then they leap up, they bite down, and they inject venom into their victims. Now I know that sounds a little sad, but they are actually helping us out when they hunt because they eat up the insects that can ruin our farms and gardens, so the wolf spider is considered a beneficial bug. Wolf spiders have eight legs, which is twice the amount as a wolf. <laughs> so I rolled out some coils and I'm attaching them to the body. I wanna give this spider some personality, and since they don't make facial expressions like us, I'm going to do that with the placement of the legs. I have a story in my head. So I just captured this spider under a glass and it's really startled. It's backed up against the glass with its back legs all curled up and its front legs slightly stretched out. I've got him cornered. Yes, that's what I'm going for. Now I'm hunting the spider. How the tables have turned. And now it's time to paint. I'm using powder food color diluted with lemon extract to add some color. The female wolf spiders are larger than the males. So this one is definitely a lady. <laughs> and the body can reach up to two inches in length, which is about the size of this cake here. So yeah, this cake is technically life-size. And something about the female wolf spider that I'm a little hesitant to mention is that uh, once her babies hatch, they climb up her legs and then they crowd onto her back. They hang out there for several weeks, which is kind of like the Animal Kingdom's version of helicopter parenting. <laughs> it is almost cute, but mostly not. And since the wolf spider can lay over a hundred eggs at once, it's a good thing she has eight eyes. That way she can keep an eye on 22 and a half babies at a time. <laughs> to make the eyes, I rolled up tiny balls of modeling chocolate and I placed them into each of the eye sockets. The wolf spider has four small eyes and above that, two large eyes and above that, to medium-sized eyes. Sometimes I forget that there's creatures like this just walking around. 
And last, I'm brushing a small amount of piping gel onto the eyes to make them glossy. And there you have it, a wolf spider cake. Can you imagine this girl jumping at you? Ugh. Give myself the heebie-jeebies. Let's trap her before she jumps. <laughs> okay, okay, let's cut the cake. This is definitely giving me some Halloween feels. I am ready. Head over to shop.sidesurfcakes.com where you can get some Side Surf Cake Studio merch. Like this mug. Or this shirt with my mug. <laughs> if you like this cake, let me know by giving this video a like and subscribe to this channel for a brand new realistic cake every week. See you next week for another cake.